how SQL transactional replication works. The information containing these slides comes almost verbatim from the Microsoft website, although it has been modified to focus on how SQL transactional replication has been implemented with Autodesk Vault. Overview. Transactional replication typically starts with a snapshot of the publication database objects and data. As soon as the initial snapshot is taken, subsequent data changes and schema modifications made at the publisher are delivered to the subscriber as they occur in near real time. The data changes are applied to the subscriber in the same order and within the same transaction boundaries as they occurred at the publisher. Therefore, within a publication, transactional consistency is guaranteed. Overview. Transactional replication is typically used in server-to-server -server environments and is appropriate in each of the following cases. You want incremental changes to be propagated to subscribers as they occur. The application requires low latency between the time changes are made at the publisher and those changes arriving at the subscriber. The application requires access to intermediate data states. For example, if a row changes five times, transactional replication allows an application to respond to each change, such as firing a trigger, not simply the net data change to the row. The publisher has a very high volume of insert, update, and delete activity, which is what Vault could do. By default, subscribers to transactional publications should be treated as read-only because changes are not propagated back to the publisher. However, transactional replication does offer options that allow updates at the subscriber. This illustration shows the principal components of Microsoft SQL transactional replication. Firstly, there is a publisher, a distributor, and one or more subscribers. Transactional replication is implemented by the SQL Server snapshot agent, log reader agent, and distribution agent. If you're wondering why the distribution agent is a different color than the distribution or subscriber, it's because it could run at the distributor for push subscriptions and at the subscriber for pull subscriptions. Autodesk Vault uses pull subscriptions, so you'll find its distribution agent at the subscriber. The snapshot agent prepares snapshot files containing schema and data of published tables and database objects. Then it stores those files in the snapshot folder. And records synchronization jobs in the distribution database on the distributor. The log reader agent monitors the transaction log of each database configured for transactional replication. It copies the transactions marked for replication from the transaction log into the distribution database, which acts as a reliable store and forward queue. The distribution agent copies the initial snapshot from the snapshot folder and then the newer transactions held in the distribution database tables and applies them to the subscribers. Initial or incremental changes made at the publisher will flow to subscribers according to the schedule of the distribution agent, which can run continuously for minimal latency or at scheduled intervals. Autodesk Vault is configured to run continuously 
because changes to the data must be made at the publisher, update conflicts are avoided. Ultimately, all subscribers are guaranteed to contain the same values as the publisher. Initial data set. So in more detail, here's how the initial data set is created. Before a new transactional replication subscriber can receive incremental changes from a publisher, the subscriber must contain tables with the same schema and data as the tables at the publisher. The initial data set is typically a snapshot that's created by the snapshot agent. The snapshot agent reads the database that is being replicated and writes it to a network shared folder. It's then copied by the distribution agent and applied to the subscriber. When snapshots are distributed and applied to a subscribers, only those subscribers waiting for initial snapshots are affected. Other subscribers to that publication, those that have already been initialized, are unaffected. Concurrent snapshot processing. Snapshot replication can place shared locks on all tables published as part of replication for the duration of snapshot generation. This can prevent updates from being made on the publishing tables. Autodesk Vault uses concurrent snapshot processing, so no locks are placed on any table during the snapshot generation. This allows users to continue working uninterrupted while replication creates initial snapshot files. Snapshot agent. After the snapshot files have been generated, you can view them in the snapshot folder using Microsoft Windows Explorer. Modifying data and the log reader agent. The log reader agent runs at the distributor. It typically runs continuously, but can also run according to a schedule you establish. When executing, the log reader agent first reads the publication transaction and identifies any insert, update, and delete statements or other modifications made to the data in transactions that have been marked for replication. Next, the agent copies those transactions in batches to the distribution database at the distributor. The log reader agent uses the internal stored procedure SP underscore REPL commands to get the next set of commands marked for replication from the log. The distribution database then becomes the store and forward queue from which changes are sent to subscribers. Only committed transactions are sent to the distribution database. After the entire batch of transaction, transactions have been written successfully to the distribution database, it is committed. Following the commit, of each batch of commands to the distributor, the log reader agent calls SP REPL done to mark where replication was last completed. Finally, the agent marks the rows in the transaction log that are ready to be purged. Rows still waiting to be re replicated are not purged. Transaction commands are stored in the distribution database until they're propagated to all subscribers or until the maximum distribution retention period has been reached. Subscribers receive transactions in the same order in which they were applied at the publisher. D 
distribution agent. The distribution agent runs at the distributor for push subscriptions and at the subscriber for pull subscription. The agent moves transactions from the distribution database to the subscriber. If a subscription is marked for validation, the distribution agent also checks whether data at the publisher and subscriber match. Publication types. Transactional replication supports four different publication types. I won't go into the detail for each one. You can review these slides later here for more information. So suffice to say, the four types are standard transactional publication, transactional publication with updatable subscriptions, peer-to-peer -to -peer topology, and bidirectional transactional replication. Autodesk Vault uses standard transactional publication. This is appropriate for topologies in which all data at the subscriber is read-only. Transactional replication does not enforce this at the subscriber. 